Hey gamers, what's up? It's your boy over Power Shorts, and today we've got something exciting to dive into. The brand new Sadachi Switch Emulator Update, version 1.0.15, just dropped, and I gotta say, it's looking pretty sick. You already know I had to put it to the test right away. And the best part? I'm pairing it up with the latest Adreno 600 drivers to unlock some next level performance. Sounds cool, right? Trust me, it is. Now, here's the plan. I'm gonna walk you through the whole setup step by step, break down the best settings, and help you get that buttery smooth, no lag, no stutter gameplay you've been dreaming of. So, if you've been struggling with emulator lag, frame drops, or settings that just don't hit right, stick around because I've got you covered. And hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss more awesome content like this. All right. Enough talking. Let's jump right in. Click on the Sadachi emulator. Click Get Started. Click Grant Permission. Install the prod key. And the title key. Select your game. And click OK to proceed. Go to Settings and click Advanced Settings. Navigate to the System section and open Graphics. Set the resolution to Low and enable Force Max Clock. Go back and click on Debug. Select CPU Bugging. Return to the previous menu and open the GPU System Driver Manager. Install the necessary drivers. Go back once more and click to start the game. This will complete the setup process and get the game running smoothly. In the far future, there are no TVs, no smartphones, no social media. Just beautiful and totally not boring nature everywhere. Oh, and giant robot dinosaurs, of course. Nobody knows where they came from. Or what happened to the ancient world of cars, skyscrapers, and funny cat videos that existed. It's what the people who live in these times call a mystery. And it's not the only one. Years ago, Tirsa, the leader of her tribe, found a baby girl all alone in the mountains. Nobody knows where she came from, either. And since orphans in stories always bring trouble, that made the villagers a little nervous. So the mysterious child was raised outside of the village by the hunter, Rob. He named her Aloy. Open wide. Soon discovered she had a natural talent for hitting targets and watching Aloy grow over the years. Helping to hone her skills filled him with great joy and satisfaction. <laughs> but through it all, Aloy wondered each and every day, where had she come from? Who was her mother? And why the heck had she been left in the mountains? Questions only Tirsa, the old lady who found her, could answer. But you're not here to listen to me go on and on. This is a game, not an audiobook. So let's join Aloy as she embarks on an epic adventure on the day she travels to the village of Mother's Heart for the first time. 